Let's go and welcome back to another week of Talking Trophies. Deeves and Davies is a bit different. We upgraded. We're Hollywood. We're not even Hollywood, guys. Uh, we, went, we, we, went, we went mainstream for like an hour and a half. Yeah. People hated on me. Apparently, I, I was interrupting way too much. And uh, we're back to being, we're back here. We're and back to square one. We're back to square one and the Deeves and Davies are here. But if you're new here and you hit the subscribe button, welcome to the Deeve and Davies family. This is yeah, a TT yeah. family. Pick if, if you're a guy, you're a uh, Davies. If you're, you're a, a Dave. girl, you're a Deeve. Yeah. But yeah, man, recap of, let's do a quick recap of Dr. Yeah, Ina, yeah. Because... How that's, it all happened was kind of a movie. It was like unexpected. Mm. You know what's funny? It was super like, we heard he's in town. There's a few people we know that saw him, bumped into him. And then before you know it, we're doing a live show with the bloke. Yeah, we're doing a live show. We're doing a live show. Yeah. We're doing an episode. Yeah. We had half an hour. I reckon, I reckon the episode, the perfect summary was my dad. My dad, every now and then you watch a Talking Trophies episode. He picked the best episode. And he watched this one with us. So I showed my dad, I said... Let me show you a pre-release. He saw the whole episode and just looked at me and goes, because he, he doesn't know Dr. Uma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, you're crazy and he's crazy and he's matched each other. Yeah. That's all the episode was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. goes, you guys were just bang, 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 like just full energy bouncing off each other. Yeah. And he's like, you guys are crazy. And he goes, Dame is the only one that was serious. Yeah. <laughs> He goes, Dame is the only one that was serious. Yeah, straight up. He used to just bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Bro, you know, there's some moments I'm looking at them and I'm going, far, bro. I said, Ravo is loving this too much right now. I realized you were in an element in that moment. What do because you've you watched his content, you know what he's like. So you knew the right way to, to pump him up real quick yeah. to get some good content out of him. I think, you know, it's crazy. People think like, oh, he was interrupted. He was on this... They don't get, we, they said, we only got 30 minutes. Right, we only had 30 minutes to do an interview. Yeah. So, and think about it, there's no getting and to know mind him. mind you, there's 60 people downstairs while and, the live shows are- And 15 people around us. 15 people around us watching us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. 60 people downstairs watching, like waiting for him to come down. Yeah. And we're trying to tell him, stay quiet and try to get these 10, 15 right. questions we had in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the same time and have fun. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but man. I got I to gotta give Bravo his flowers. He did well. He did well. He I interviewed was, well. I, I think I, I think I was just used to like, you know how it is like a lot of the boys in that area, how we talk. It's just like, we always just, yes. it's interrupt talk, bang, bang, full energy. Just give me, it's yeah, not yeah, like yeah, yeah. people think, I think, I think people were looking at it like, and I, mate, I reckon it was girls, guys. It was the older women that commented. If you look at their names, they, they sound like old names. No, it's that and it. also, and also uh, just stubborn guys. Yeah, yeah. So like those guys, you could tell these people are like over 35 and stuff. Of course. But it's like, it felt like I was talking to like a homie. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. even after the f the show finished, we we did the show. Yeah, it's cool. This guy, I'm just, like, we're literally talking about other stuff. Like, yeah, just yeah, hanging yeah. out. He's like, so man, how's everything? And we're just yeah, having yeah, a normal yeah, convo. Yeah, like, yeah. we just did a normal pod. Like, it was just a normal convo. Yeah. And I think it was more of a convo than an interview. It was just yeah. like homeboy banter between each other. Yeah. We're just having fun, having a laugh. And I think some people rocked up there thinking like, yeah, Dr. Uma, come educate me, sir. Yeah. And they're like, how come these guys are joking and having fun as well? Yeah, and you know, you know, it's one thing actually. Ravo did the smart thing because if you let him talk too much, you can get down a rabbit hole. You can get just like we do. Yeah, that's the thing. Like this episode is going to be full of rabbit holes. Yeah, and you're going to be an hour in thinking, how do we get? How up we here? were then. We need people doing that to us right yeah, now. Yeah, that's it. Because he's if he if you let him speak, I've seen him for, yeah, for yeah, years. Yeah. I've seen his content. Yeah, it's like if you let him speak. Because he has so much knowledge, he will keep speaking yeah. on that one topic. But it's like, yo, we got like 30 minutes and we got like 10, 15 things we want to speak about. Yeah. And I'm probably not going to see this guy for another five, six years. Yeah. Let's have fun. With it. Let's talk. Let's yeah. banter. Let's cut each other. Let's, it was good. But I think overall, bro, I had fun, bro. Yeah. Hey, and also shout out Wintana for letting us use her crib. Yeah, Wintana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, use shout the out studio. Wintana. Shout out Jacob. Shout out Carlos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel as well for, oh, wait, we had a live show after. Yeah, yeah. That was sick. Yeah, we had a live um, show. We had a panel. We had Dr. Umin entertained everyone. Yeah, loved yeah. it. Speaking facts. It's good vibes. Yeah. Got you to open up the event. Yeah, I opened it. Yeah. It was yeah, it was it was a random room though. Yeah. I've never opened it in a room like that. What do you mean? Just pure black room. Now nah, plus Nordic. I, I said plus, that. Hey, did you this see guy what I say? This guy <laughs> didn't know it dirty, bro. This guy's a dog, bro. I go, shout out all these black people. Uh, beautiful black uh, kings and queens. I said something like that. Yeah, yeah. Shout out all the beautiful black kings and queens in this room. And uh, Nord. What's going on, Nord? <laughs> He's yeah. the only guy there. Hey, we're still beefing. We're still beefing with TV. But, no, no, actually, i got to say, uh, uh, Nord said something to me. So what happened was, 
we don't speak about faith, yeah? So we're yeah. like, oh, we don't speak about faith in the episode. Yeah. Due to the, just the time, we're like, we don't have enough time. And plus, I'm Muslim, you're Christian. Yeah. So it's like, by the time we get through all of... Right. <laughs> mate, by the time the guy's going to get bombarded from both angles, yeah, guys. Mate, it's going to be an attack. It's going to be the first it's time Muslims and uh, Christians come, come together, together mate. and just attack. Yeah. But I'm like, we don't have enough time to speak on it. Yeah. And it's such a deep topic. Yeah. You don't want to fall into like... No. A deep discussion and not get anywhere. There's no outcome out of it. Yeah. This is more of a, you'd want to have that convo with him for like an hour and a half, hour, yeah. 30, whatever. So what happened was during the live show, yeah, um, you left after you, so you did the MC, the intro, welcomed yeah. everyone in, get everyone settled in. Then we did the panel. Yeah. So you le- when you left, I left, we set in the calendar, like uh, well in the run sheet, we're like 10 minutes, prayer break. Yeah. We're like, yo, for 10 minutes, Let's have a break. People can get refreshments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People can get some like drinks. We intended it because the, the panel was like an hour. Of course. So we're like, let's get some drinks, uh, soft drinks. So obviously, we're not serving any of yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, alcohol. No, 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 alcohol. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. We're like, we're like, let's have some drinks and pe- so the Muslims can go pray. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when Tana announces, she goes, All right, guys, we're going to go pray. Um, we're going to have a break for prayer. And he's going to get some drinks. But the way she said it, it's like, we're literally only having this break so you, these Muslims can go pray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're stopping this whole show. That's what he heard, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Dr. Imi goes, yo, 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 yo. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're not going to, we, we, we keep going. We're going to keep going. We don't need to stop. I'm not tired. <laughs> and then that's when we turn, it's like, oh. And we're like, oh, no, we're going to just have a 10-minute prayer break, drink break. <clears throat> Everyone stand up. You can stretch, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then he goes, nah, we had an instance in Philadelphia and, you know, we had a community meeting and we all came together and the meeting was intended to resolve the issues that we're having amongst gangs in the, in the community. Mm. And while we're getting to the critical part of the meeting, the Muslims said, yo, we got to stop the meeting to go pray. <laughs> no, 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 no. You just leave the meeting, go pray. And when you're ready, you can come back and join us, but we can continue the meeting. <laughs> valid point. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I personally, I'm like, yeah, that's a valid point too. Yeah. I'm on the panel, but yeah. I want to go pray. <clears throat> and I was like, all right, look, if you guys want to pray, come upstairs. We're going to be praying upstairs. I go, put my mic down, and I stop, and I go pray. There was at least 20 Muslims in the room, Cass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, only three of us got, like no four way. of us got up to pray. I was like, mate, the Muslims are just proving him, right? Hey. The Muslims aren't doing Step it right. Step up, Step mate. up, Muslims. You guys are notorious for standing ground. Yeah, and I'm just like, <laughs> what mate, happened? we stopped standing there grounded. And I'm like, oh, mate, I'm not even the most religious Muslim. And I got up to go pray. Yeah, yeah, But like, yeah, when yeah, I prayed, yeah. whatever, and then came back. But I was just like, but Nur was like, oh, hey, shout out to you, respect for doing that, doing that you know? Yeah, yeah. But like, that's the thing, man. I think we should have touched on faith yeah. if we had more time. Like, yeah, that's, if we had, like, a podcast that was in our studio, I reckon I would have said 20 minutes. Yeah. Let's talk about religion. Let's I think if faith. we talked into it, I think we could have had some crazy discussions on it. Yeah. Because I think he has some biased perspectives. That hey, but don't get me wrong. He's made some valid points. But he does, no, because he, he, he... That's the thing. He backs it up with proof. He has, he has, he has, he has evidence. Proof. He has proof. Yeah. And he's been doing this for years, man. So he knows what he's doing. But I've got to give the guy a shout-out because comes on a... Mate, we're nobodies. Cause. Jumps on, and I love how people think we actually pay for him, but um, <laughs> he jumps on, you know, yeah, talks, yeah, yeah. and he gives you the same energy Course. he'll give to the biggest platform yeah, in the yeah. world. Like, you chuck him on Joe Rogan, he'll be giving you the same yeah, energy yeah. that he jumped when he was on our, our yeah. pod- podcast. But that was fun, man, and I think it was a great learning experience. And I, I'll be honest, I saw it, I reckon he enjoyed it. I reckon he enjoyed his time on the Talking Trophies podcast. Bro, he loved it, bro. After the that- show... Because I was talking to him because we were waiting yeah, to yeah, get yeah. to start live, live show. Yeah, yeah. Bro, he's dabbing me up. He's like, yo, love this. Had fun. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. man, I appreciate you for jumping and on. he loved Does It Hit. Oh, yeah. The snacks? <laughs> the Basito. He was smacking that down yeah, at the live yeah. event. Cause. Yeah, he was, yeah. Bro, the guy was smacking that drink down, bro. Because <laughs> he smacked down the Basito. Because he's, no, nah, no, nah, he's, he's a hilarious. He's a good guy, bro. Per, like, at the start, I was like, oh, who's this? Like, because he walked in like this at the start. Remember when he yeah, walked in? Yeah, yeah. He just fist pumped us. Yeah. Not even a what's up. And then he just slowly started opening nah, up. Nah, because he wanted to go bathroom. I think he was just, you know, it's not easy just to go into a place and just be the same. Yeah. Whoa, everybody. Yeah. But let's talk about his, uh, the, the, the viewers. What are you thinking? Yeah, in the hey, comments? Bro, I was tripping out. You know, like, because yeah. you can have a, a, a bigger guest than your usual guest. And sometimes it brings some traction. But usually from what I've seen, not just from our podcast, but other people's podcasts, they go, okay, you can bring in 
guest with a decent amount of followings and not always does it like bring the most like traction. This guy has a following cuz. Mm-hmm. Like when I say following, these people are like ride or die. Yeah. Ride or die. They've, he's got his own Deves and Davies. Yeah. This guy <laughs> has his own Deves and Davies. He's got the Pan-Africanists. Cuz on YouTube... They're giving it to Ravo. Yeah. Call him the bald-headed guy. Who's the bald? Like, I should have added my Instagram tag so, like, I can get a couple followers as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're just, like, the bald guy. I'm like, God damn it, I have a name. And, and you I realize on the TikTok one, you I realize, I don't think, not everyone didn't like the question I asked. I think it was how I look asking it. They're going, who's this white, Arab-looking, Indian-looking? Bro, straight up, yeah, 100%. I think they weren't actually mad at the question. I think it's how I look asking the question. Yeah. I jerried that. When I looked at it, I said, far. Because people, most people are going, yo, that's a, it's a decent take. Yeah. To ask a question like that. It's very valid. Mm. But I think a lot of people just didn't. You like. know, I didn't even read the comments on that, that post really. Yeah. Like, I commented with that guy. I had a good convo with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I used the Talking Trophies account. Yeah. I'm like, I'll just talk to him. I'm like, hey, straight, straight up, good convo. I'm like, yeah. by the way, mate, firstly, let's get something straight. It's... It's not the darker you are, the more African you are. <laughs> yeah, All right? Because yeah. <laughs> Damo's Eritrean. He's half, yeah, but yeah, he's yeah. got Eritrean blood in him. And like the da- famous like, Dr. Uma says- You are a so do dance. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like the Dr. Uma says, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not about how you come into the world. It's what do you identify. Damon, do you identify as black? One knee. You, you know what's crazy? Man. People are asking me, they're like, how come you didn't ask Damo about Damo? So people were saying that. Oh, they're no like, way. Why do you ask about Damo? Yeah. Being mixed race. I realized because we spoke before and I'm like, oh, by the way, we're all cousins. We told him about it. We said we're all cousins. Because he already knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, I was just saying like, Africans, I don't know why they think the darker we are, yeah, the darker yeah. you are, the more African you are. It's like the are. more valid you, it's your not, point is. Wait, let's, let's see. Where did, <laughs> I want to get this fact checked. Where did. Because, hey, I'll, while he's looking for it, it's so funny because in the comments, they're like, he's not even African. Someone's like, where is he from? Like, it's, it's funny. It, actually, it makes me realize, and it's true. I think subconsciously we judge people. It's not even that we're dirty at the, what they're asking. It's actually just how they look asking it. So I was yeah. like, far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, the oldest fully uh, skulled, the oldest fully modern H sapi- human sapien skulls dating to at least 233,000 years ago were found in Eth- Ethiopia, Omo Vil- Valley. Okay, so, mate, the world Loki originated close to us then. Because the OG. Because <laughs> Eritreans did come, like, our tribe, blend tribe, our blend mm. tribe is initially from Ethiopia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we came to Eritrea and settled there. So, mate, look, we might be the original people. We're the OGs. Yeah, we're starting the new African and movement. What are we going to call this? Our family gonna... stayed married in the blood. Yeah, we, so we only married down cousins. the line. We only married cousins. Yeah, we only and, married cousins. And all your second or third cousins. Yeah. So the blood is close. The blood's very close. So, <laughs> what, what are we going to be? Are we the OG Pan Africanists? We're the OGs. But you know, it is. Nah, someone, nah. someone said something about like Somalis, Eritreans, and Ethiopians don't see themselves as Africans or something along those lines. Mm. And I disconnected. I just think Africa is such a big continent yeah yeah the, the differences is so wide wide and besides Definitely. the only like one thing like is we're black yeah other than that like you get short a country full of short africans and then you go yeah. to a country with the full the tallest people in the world yeah, yeah, then yeah. you get like the biggest stockiest country and you get the skinniest people in the world yeah, yeah, yeah. africa is such a diverse geographical place yeah yeah like it's just literally the skin tone that keeps us like the yeah. same yeah, yeah yeah you know what i mean but in general like i think we're all to be honest we are all the same like yeah. Mate, you're a nigga here, you're a nigga over there. That's like <laughs> <laughs> some Pan African is gonna see that go <laughs> crazy. And you know what made me you know what makes me laugh? Oh. You know, because we're Aussie, right? You know when you say that it sounds like the harder. Yeah, oh yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but um yeah, Pan Africanist, we are we are Pan Africanist. But I just realized like, I realized like even for example, African Americans, they consider yeah, yeah. themselves different so yeah it's true so the well did you notice like i'm not sure if you noticed the comments on that it's called fbas like, if you didn't see it basically our take was the whole thing of like as uh, african men in australia we can adopt african-american culture good and the bad but there were like some of the comments were saying like uh they were saying like don't um like you guys just want to be like us so bad but almost like they almost detach themselves they say we're not and they even say we're one some of the comments were like we're not africans yeah, they're called, they're called FBAs. I remember hearing this word. 
So I think it's like fundamental black uh, Americans. Yeah. So like even for example, when you go there, I got homeboys in America. Yeah. That I met, and they don't consider themselves like they say like oh you're you're African. Yeah. You know what I mean? And but if you think about it, four hundred years living that's how many generations yeah. you're living in a country. Let's just say we have kids for like another six hundred years. Yeah. 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 We consider ourselves yeah. FBAs as well. Yeah. 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 Fundamental. Fun, I think it's, I don't know if it's foundational black. Yeah. Australians, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, we're well, <laughs> man, you know what? I'm disappointed. Yeah, yeah, we didn't check on the Aussie accent enough. We didn't do it to him because we were and just think, so caught up. Just and talking. I think for the and first a couple of times, American accents came out. I think the first ten minutes we should have done that. What? Just Aussie accent, just like full blown Aussie. Like you know, we're talking through beforehand. Yeah, let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah, mate. Welcome to Dawkins Drive yeah. again. That'd be hilarious, guys. <laughs> we got there, Doctor Uma. We got Doctor Uma for chin day, mate. <laughs> yeah. The blokes come all the way from uh, America just to talk about something about like Africanism and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Like shout out to the guy like straight up because we are black and live in this country and stuff, but we just couldn't acknowledge who we truly are. Yeah. And that's Africans. Well, I, was, I love your movement, but I'm a true blue Aussie at the end of the day, yeah. mate. So you can't take that away from me. That's the one, brother. <laughs> and hey. hey, we did give a shout out to the indigenous when I said- Yeah, uh, hey, shout those, out. But I said, uh, give a shout out to the cooler nation. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I, I want to talk about this. Is snow bunny hopping that bad? Like bro said, 1,000 lashes, yeah. a toe chop off, and an E cut off. Yeah, yeah. It's full on, bro. Let's not talk about like, obviously, we, we don't want that. If, you, if any of our Davies are snow, or right. Deves are snow bunny hopping, you're coming to the Tokyo Trophy studio. We, you, we're going to sit you in front of the camera. We're giving you 1,000 lashes. We're chopping off your ear and a toe. Right, all right. Tell me, is it that bad? I don't think it's that bad. I think, you know, I've met some really... Right, you, I think you get the good and the bad in anything, bro. I don't think like, I I definitely can see the complexities of mixing cultures, mixing races. I do see the complexities, but when you put that aside, you can still raise a healthy, good family despite those differences. I think um like the only time it would ever become complex, I think when it becomes faith. But like, I don't think snow bunny hopping is that bad. Your like parents might be like disappointed. Like is it, huh? You Your say? parents might be disappointed. No, no, like is it an inferiority complex? Like, mate, you're a victim of a... Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're born of snow bunny hope. You're dead with snow bunny hope. But, like, no, no. Is it, like, an inferiority complex? How they say it? Like, who was saying? The guy yeah. feels that black women are inferior to white women. Mm. That's why he snow bunny hops subconsciously. And he dates. And indirectly, he's saying that black wi- white men are better than him. Type mm. it's, So, it's a weird correlation. But, like, do you actually think, like, that guy actually thinks, like, yo, white girls are better? No, nah, I don't think so. I don't think it's that at all. To be honest, I just think that sometimes white girls are just more wild than black girls. Bro. What do you mean? Like, I think the way sometimes, I think some white women have a black fetish. Like, they actually fe- like fantasize black, black men at times. So I think, like, they'll go crazy about it. Like, I remember in school, like, there were some, you meet some white girls, and they're just, like, they're so fixated on just black men. Yeah. Like, you know, and I'm not she sure. pressed the wrong category when she was on the internet. <laughs> yeah, right. She opened up the she wrong, opened up the wrong, the wrong window, mate. Yeah. She opened up the wrong window, <laughs> and now she's got neo posters on her wall yeah. in Chris Brown <laughs> and Usher, <laughs> and her dad's walking in like Susan. What's going on? What the heck, mate? What happened? What happened to Bon but, Jovi? But, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, do you think it's like, for example, no, no, I'm saying from from the black man's perspective. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, like how a white girl exp- exp- pictures it, but like. For me personally, a- I don't see, like, I don't go, oh, like, I think white women are better or, or black women are better. Like, I think for me, I'm, I'm a person, obviously, I look for character. I think the character of a person shows so much more substance to the person, but I don't think it's race-based. I never look at race-based. So would you, like, for example, if you found the one, would you If I off? found the, the one, I don't care what race it is. Get the whip out! Get, the <laughs> get, get him! him. Get He's him. a bunny hopper. Bro, I should have said that last week. You should have said that, bro. What the hell, man? You said it quietly. Yes, yeah, sir. I would never bunny hop. No, no. I we, never said that. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But like, for example, like, I don't know about the. What about the, you? You tell me then. What would you? Do you do, like? I would how do you never bunny hop in my life. But do you see? What? Well, so do you see black women as more superior than white women? I don't. It's not about superiority. He's talking about race loyalty, for example. Yeah, yeah. I agree with some of it, man. Race loyalty. Of course. Like, he said it, before I cut him off, but he said the Chinese go with the Chinese. They'll, they'll tell a kid, like if, why do you think it's always an issue when a Chinese kid, let's just say Chinese girl starts dating a black guy, Asian girl. Yeah. And it's yeah. be like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. You know what I mean? What's going on over here? Yeah. 
It's not. I don't know, man. Like, obviously, we're in it. But then you come, you come to like, for example, you come to a place like Australia. That's the thing. Different ball game. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, for example, with us, like, back, I went to primary back school. Back home, it's a bigger deal. You do that back home. Yeah. It's a way bigger deal. Yeah. But but like here, for example, bro, I went to like, for example, I went to a primary school, yeah? That was really mixed. Yeah. And it was like a really like welcoming. Pr- they were really progressive before progressive became super progressive. Like, yeah. this was like- Well, you're in a city. Like, yeah. yeah. So it was like, yo, I grew up around, around a lot of races. Bro, my first crush was Asian. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if, yeah. I don't think it would be, and I went to a school where it's like a lot of white people. Yeah. But like, why did I have a crush with an Asian girl? It's because she was the coolest girl in the class. Yeah. She was the smartest girl in the class. That's why I liked her. You know, yeah. it wasn't really an inferiority complex. I wouldn't say that. Yeah. And plus she lived not far from my grandma's house. So I, re- I saw her quite a bit. Yeah. And I was like, damn, this girl's cute. I was eight. I didn't know how to feel. You know yeah. what I mean? Because like, you know when you're that age, bro, you have weird flexes. You try to do the girls, bro. What do you do? Yeah, you just like start. You know what I start doing? Just skipping one on the monkey bar, skipping one. That was my flex. I used to just be able to skip like one or two. But then there was a kid that used to skip like three or four, bro. Just jumps. And I'm like, bro, stop, stop cock blocking me right now, guys. Try to impress the girls. Because I don't know what I was thinking one day, bro. I started doing Shawn Michaels moves, cuz. <laughs> just kicking the girl's head. head. <laughs> just kicked her in the head. What? Nah, bro. You know, like the entrances. Yeah. I was to show her. I said, watch, I can do like Shawn Michaels entrance. Like, yeah. On point. Showed her the in whole entrance. In front of the girls? In front of her. The girl I had a crush on in primary school. Oh, no way. What did she do? Bro, she just <laughs> didn't know what the heck was going on, bro. Uh, she didn't know anything about WWE. Bro, you know, like, I think back then you're yeah, in your yeah. own movie. I don't know what it is, like eight years old. I low-key think we had, that's like, Ma- you're peak. on a high that's peak you know what it is it's peak masculinity i swear to god you know why you look back and you're like bro i did stuff to show how much of an alpha male i am yeah, like bro. why did i skip two bars on the monkey bar yeah bro you had no you reason to why did i try doing as many push-ups as i could in front yeah. of the girls i was like bro that's peak masculinity and then yeah. somewhere it fades away where it's like yo you actually got to speak game and yeah you gotta yeah, take yeah, her yeah. out for dinner and you gotta yeah. lose it but I low-key miss... Go, nah, I want to go back then, in time. I want to go back in time and skip two monkey bars, do a couple push-ups bro, and then get the girl's number. I used to have long hair flex. Oh, my no hair used to be up to here. Bro, were you those guys that didn't cut their hair? Bro, I didn't cut my hair, bro. My hair was long, were bro. Were you those guys that you know, like if you were a guy And I had curls. Yeah, bro, it was actually weird, bro. I remember an excursion. I was like grade yeah. three. The teacher- Damien was the day then before we both... <laughs> I was they them before they them cuz. Bro, I used to have long hair in the teeth. Bro, I remember, I remember, I remember. You used to get me dirty. I remember people that used to have long hair, bro. I used to like, they like, bro, this guy a guy him, or girl? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. But yeah, let's talk about a snow bunny. We'll come back to it. Yes. <laughs> like, as a black man, do you think if you don't date black women, you're like, oh, you'd marry? I don't know what it is. Date, okay, let's just say, like, let's just say there's dating and then there's like committing your life to having children with. Yeah. I reckon it's all right if you just dibble dabble a little bit before you. Because <laughs> you know you're settling on a black girl. Yeah. You know you're going to settle on a black girl. But just dibble dabble a little with a couple races just before you. Yo. <laughs> just to see. Like, have a look at the menu. Yo. Have a look at what else is on the menu. And then settle for the main meal. You know, this is the main meal. I'm going to settle for this. Just dibble dabble a little bit. You know what was a hard Not thing? a thing? No, nah, because you, okay. know, you, know, you know what it is? It's different for me, okay? Because I know a couple this brothers dibble dabbled and just got stuck there and just said, you know what, I'm having this entree for the rest of my life. You know what it is? Because I grew up, I grew up with my mum and my sister, right? Yeah. So for me, if I ever saw a girl with blonde hair, I just associated it with my mum and my sister. Bro, so you're telling me you missed I hair. never wanted, I even never even wanted to dabble in the walk your game. You're telling me blonde hair, blue eyes. I was like, no. Nah. Victoria's Secret, you're walking past you. You're just like, <laughs> mate, you remind me of my mom. Leave no. me alone. Yeah, leave me alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go pray. So you be- <laughs> Dead set, so you can't Dead like- Dead set, bro. Actually, yeah. Okay, up. that's interesting. Straight up. I think, uh, I'm not sure if it's just, I, I just always get reminded. Yeah. Everyone's different, but some people like their cousins. Yeah. Some people might even marry their cousins. Sometimes you just got to keep it in the family. Keep it in the blood. Yeah, yeah. N- not too, well, Not too close. I feel but like you would never double with white girls. What do you mean? You'd never even consider. Would you even consider it? I know. I've, t- I've spoken to white. I've spoken to white girls before. <laughs> like not, not harder, but like in a nice way. You know. You know. Nah. You know. Hey. You know. You, you know right. the ra- raver like flirtatious reason. All right. Just Ready? like. Yeah. Go. You're walking at the mosque one day. <sighs> you see, he jabbed up. How do I know she's blonde hair, blue eyes? You don't have to know. You just see the pale skin. Okay. Blue see eyes. 
Green yeah, eyes. Yeah, 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 blue eyes, pale right. skin. On a dean, guys. Yeah. Head at the ground. Yeah. Not looking a man in sight. Yeah. Covered up to the wrist. <laughs> to the wrist, yeah. And to the ankles. To the ankles. The socks are high, so you're not seeing no skin, brother. Oh. Is she wearing gloves? Just, just, just gloves on, just fingerless gloves. <laughs> no, you can't, I can't. <laughs> She's wearing gloves. Yeah. You see, you, every time you're at the mosque, you see her walking out. You just, she's on the grind. Yeah. Would you holler? Would you holler to her dad, who's a bogan, who's cracked it because she reverted? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, I'd probably be the best guy to come up to ask the father, because I'd come up to him, and be like, look, mate, you can crack a beer open. I'll get a, I'll get a Heineken Zero. And would you go for a girl like that though? What? Bro, I swear she's on her faith like, game, but she's she's just a white girl. She's on her faith, but she's on her faith, cause. Bro, like, and she's a, saying, she's like, got banter. She's got all the characteristics you want that I like too. Bro, you, you love know, the, you know great the banter, thing? great ambitions. I think my biggest flaw is I know what I want. Yeah, yeah. Like I know what kind of person I am. What kind of like something I like. Like, oh damn, she's someone That's you can banter one. with. Like you know, like when you're when can you're gonna be with Arabic? her. Arabic. She speaks Arabic as well. She oh. went Arabic school. Oh. She went. She went. She dove full deep, and she doesn't just speak any type of Arabic. She speaks Sudanese Arabic. Oh, even better, mate. <laughs> mate, I'm done. Okay, for this one. Would you person, no, no, person, the thing is, I've, I've been locked in my priority. But you know the fams are going to be dirty. No, my fams won't care. Mm. My fams won't care. You reckon? Bro, you're telling me, mate, on the everything, chopper. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But as long as she's proper religiously. Great communication. They don't, they don't mind. And communication is key. True. <sighs> Would you? Mate, you just explained Margaret Robbie. <laughs> If Margaret Robbie converted, um, Margaret Robbie converted, <laughs> she's like, bro, I don't know, man. Like, the thing is, like, my priority personally. And no, wait, 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 wait. Okay, go. She's like Ravo. Yeah, I'm a Dave. I'm a Dave too. She subscribed. <laughs> Burner yeah. account Dave. I'm Burner, a Burner account, account Dave. Dave. And she's been sending us messages, low key. Whatever. No, no, not. Me- oh, she hasn't been. So- like she's, she cons- she's conservative. Oh, she's conservative. She's conservative, Muzi. So she doesn't. She, she watches d- it, but she doesn't entertain anything. No, no, she comments. She publicly. comments. She can yeah. make public comments. Sometimes she'll comment on the Instagram post. That's a tough one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but is your dad an alcoholic? No. Nah. I'm not interested then. <laughs> nah, to you be just want to be able to come home yeah, and just... To be honest, I just personally like... I, the thing is, it's like, for example, like, I don't know. Right now... Just at, say it's because she's No, white. no, right now I'm like Eritrean. I want Eritrean. That's yeah, where I'm at right now. That's yeah. why. I'd want Eritrean. But at the same time, guys... I'm giving him another two years. If I don't find one, mate, I'm, t- I'm going to another race. You can't have no choice, mate. You're nearly 30. Nah, I don't, I don't mind, to be honest, man. Mate, Raver's still... Come on, Kaz. You know me, Kaz. I've got the body of a 23-year-old. <laughs> but I don't know. Like, for example, with me, snow bunny hopping, I don't think it's like... I think it's... You should... As I said, remember, I'm like your first generation. Yeah. I think your priority should be... If, for example, Eritrean, Eritrean, Somali, Somali, uh, Ethiopian, Ethiopian, Arab, like, for example, Iraqi, yeah. Iraqi... Um, Ecuador and Ecuador and just like that for example that's what I'm saying it's mm-hmm. like if you're first generation country, just so you can maintain that culture it's like yo you had this such this beautiful nostalgic yeah. inv- the reality is is that we're losing everyone's losing their culture they're losing their culture everyone and is it's so beautiful the nostalgia the love the joy culture yeah, brings yeah. joy it does it, it brings does. people together you know what I mean it's like yo we grew up on this and the fact that it's like I say it's like you're gonna th- you're willing to like sacrifice that to an extent yeah it's true, but because yeah, people think, yeah. oh, you don't, you do. Yeah. How many, like, even like for, even for me, yeah, like, so I grew up not knowing my culture mm. until I was, what, 16, 15. Mm. But when I finally knew my culture, like, bro, I'll be honest, bro, I'm proud of Eritrean culture. Yeah. Like, I love it. Mm. Like, it's beautiful. It's mm. like, when you see everyone together, there's joy. Like, there's so much happiness in, like, bro, you go to a wedding, go to a nikah, anything, bro. There's so much, like, happiness in the mm. room. But and you know what's crazy? That I love this about Eritreans, and I I swear I'll give I'll, I'll give props to my the country. I love the fact that like, and I was saying this, I can't remember who I was saying this to. I'm like, yo, I see a Christian Eritrean, mm. straight love, bro. Like, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. There's nothing. It's like there's no much of a barrier. Yeah. Some other countries they do experience that barrier where it's like, mm. oh hey, different religion, blah blah blah. Yeah. With Eritreans, like, oh we're Eritrean, yes, yeah, nice. Oh my yeah. god, it's that. Also, probably give that shout out to my mum because she does still ha- she she's really connected with the Habish ladies in the area. Yeah, yeah. She comes, she goes up and down, talks with them, and all of that stuff. Yeah. So I respect that. Yeah, but that's hectic. You know, um, like lately I've been thinking, guys, I feel like 
people have a fear of doing too much. Mm. Like I feel like uh, everyone I'm talking to, it's like I'm trying to, bro, I'm trying to have haps. Just go and, bro, let's go pool lounge. Let's go get a feed or anything. These things don't sound like they're doing too much. Mm. Cause so I said it to one of my boys. Boys like, nah, bro, I've been flat out. So I had no plans, bro. Hop on cod. B06. I'm running it up. I'm is this the new one? How is it? Second prestige. Oh, no way. That's crazy. Bro, I've only done I one see, prestige see, in my life. I see my boy online, bro. Playing? Playing, bro. He's playing the whole time, but he's not doing anything, bro. Did you join him? Like no, I didn't. I didn't. I Why didn't. not? I was just playing. Oh, no, I was already playing with guys. Okay. Greek man. Oh, the goat. <laughs> the goat. Shout yeah. out Greek man. I was already playing. But then I was like, bro, I was looking back, I was reflecting, and everyone I talk to, even when it's work-related, anything, there's this fear, there's this stereotype of like, I feel like our generation and the generations to come have this fear of burning out, doing too much. Like, mm. there's, we, we don't have this hustle anymore. We don't have this grind mentality of, even when it comes to friendships. Yeah. We don't hustle for it. Yeah. It's true, man. I, but you know what's crazy? People don't reach out anymore. Like, even, nah. it's like, it's too much. It's like, oh, whoa, if I reach out to this person, they're probably going to ask me to come out for lunch next week. Yeah. Do I want to do that? I want to yeah. be chilly. I get what you're saying. I have, I have that experience as well. But I, you know what I do, man? I just call people now. I've been doing it for a while. I just yeah. call randomly. If I have a contact in my phone, I'm like, hey, yo, let me call this. Yeah. Let me call this guy. How you been? What are you up to? Yeah. Oh, good. And I personally think, man, I don't know, man. I personally think like, we're not doing too much. People are doing re- not a lot. It's just our social batteries are exhausted. And I low-key think it's due to this phone. Mm. Bro, you know how exhausted you bro, get from tiring. scrolling? Bro, clock your mood when you scroll and after you scroll. You're drained. Like once you do, an, if you do a nice, like if I doom scroll for a good 30 minutes. Yeah. I'm actually like mentally dead. I don't even want to reply to anyone. Yeah, yeah. And I'm seeing this. I've seen this a lot, yo. I'm not going to lie. I see people's phones. Like, let's just say someone's on their phone next to me. People have like 16 messages on their DMs. Yeah, They're yeah. They're nobodies. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they haven't replied to them for like four, five, six days. Because people are just exhausted. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. Because you know why? Because you sent a message. Then you went on a doom scroll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cooked your brain. And you look at the message like, I can't be stuffed replying to them. Yeah, then yeah. three days goes past. You don't reply to the person. Yeah, yeah. Bro, firstly, let me tell you something, man. <laughs> I've got, names, I've got 900 followers, maybe ish. I had a thousand. I cut them. I always cut it down. I always slowly go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get more interactions than you. If you got 2,000 followers, I get more interactions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have more interactions. I reply to people's DMs when they message me. Yeah, you're not. I do reply. Oh, you do? Yeah. I yeah. sit down and I'm like, okay, I open the social media app. The first yeah. thing I do is I go, oh, look, I got four messages. Yeah, Let me yeah, respond yeah. to each person, give them the respect. Yo, I'm following them for a reason. Yeah, yeah, I respect yeah. them. And then I'll, make, I'll reply back. But like, you're leaving this person. I've seen people's DMs next to me. Yeah, 14 yeah. messages, eight DMs, six messages. Yeah. These are your friends. Must reply to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, it is, I get it because sometimes you get sent a, like a bunch of reels from that one friend and you're, you're, you you don't want to leave your messages. Or Jordan you Berry, Kaz, you got to <laughs> stop sending me those reels, Kaz. You got to stop sending me those reels because I'm done. Right. He sends me 15 at once and That's I'm like, bad, bro, bro. I've I've, I've watched. And the thing is, I watch your reels. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. If you yeah, send yeah, me a reel, yeah, yeah. I'm going to watch each and every reel. Yeah. You sent me 14. <laughs> I got tired after the third one, bro. You know, they're all funny. <laughs> you know, I only open reels if it's certain people. Yeah. Because I only know there's a certain number of people that got my humor level. Yeah. What about Sean when Sean sends you? I know you skip a couple of Sean. <laughs> Shan's just not Guys, you know why? Because I know if I'm read, if I'm watching one of Sean's reels, I might have to go repent a little bit. Yeah, I might have to go pray up a little bit. Yeah, because sometimes they're so cool, right? Yeah, because you're either watching a brawl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're watching a, someone on drugs. Brassy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves his indigenous reels as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And sometimes he, he he'll chuck you a wild card. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. That wild card is like, should I go pray quickly and repent to God? No, no. Or the wild card is, no, he does it. He loves this one, bro. Maybe once every two weeks, I reckon he does it. He'll send in some some social media guru strategy on how you can reach more people. Yeah, yeah. engagement for talking How can you get better engagement? And do you know what it does? He just sends it in, but he doesn't do no initiative. He'll yeah. just send it in hey, and be sick. like, Boys, we should do this. Yes. He goes, boys, we should do this. He chucks it in and then nothing else happens. You Kaz, know, the next boys, reel- we should do this. One time I message him, I'm like, Kaz, just do it for us then. Bro, the next reel you get is someone getting knocked out. Yeah. 
Or someone smacking down a slab or something, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he says, yeah. And the thing is, like, I, I personally think it's like, back in the days, Instagram was sick because it, before Reels got introduced. Yeah, I yeah. think Reels ruined Instagram, Loki. As crazy as it sounds, it's like no one messages anymore because everyone just stuck on Reels and no one sees bro, posts anymore. We think sending a Reel is communication now. Bro, I'm, it's crazy. <laughs> I haven't spoken to my boy. I swear to God. Like an actual conversation. Bro, I swear to God, I have one of my boys. I haven't spoken to him. Like we have a... So he just... And I swear to God, look, I'm going to open the messages. He sent me a reel. Oh, he actually sent me a reel of fucking trophies saying what are the reels we did. He sent me oh, a real, real one. one. So real shout one, out to you, real one, real one. But dead set, we haven't had a convo. We haven't had a convo in like... Months. M months Yeah 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 And every now and then He'll send me like a little story But it's like We don't talk anymore People don't talk You know what I'm gonna send them a video I'm gonna send them a video right now Yo what's up Kazi We're live on Talk With Trophies right now Kaz Shout out to you But yeah, it is. Like People don't talk anymore People actually don't nah. talk It's I don't know what it is I don't know I'm done I think I went on a <laughs> rabbit hole and I don't know where we got to, but that's what it is. It's the no, doom scroll. About the doom I think it's the doom scrolling. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. People are, their they're getting, phones, our people's phones battery, social batteries are down because they're too busy doom scrolling. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And, and you know what? Sometimes I don't like to say it. I, I struggle when I, when I put time and effort out and it's not the best. I feel like we don't have fun anymore. Like, we're, like I don't, I feel like I don't do enough. I do too many coffees, not enough activities. Too many what? Not enough coffees. I do too many coffees and not enough activities. That's a hard line. Yeah. Bro, like I'm just catching up and it's, just, it's almost like, it's not a dead conversation, but it's dead. It's like, you're just recapping your last few months. Oh, uh, so when you, do you catch up with your boys and go, hey, let's go we'll grab go get a, a coffee. feed. We'll, we'll go grab a we'll coffee. Get, yeah, go grab a coffee. Okay, you see, that's what you're doing a wrong Cause We go, go do an activity. Bro, that's what I'm saying. We go do like, for example, now, like the last, this year, last year, yeah Paddle's been massive for us This last year and a half-ish Paddle's crazy So yeah. we just All we do is play paddle I, was yeah. I, I literally injured my foot for yesterday. Is that squash? It's like squash with walls and stuff They got like one in Tala Marine They got one in um, Reservoir as well yeah, yeah. And they've got one in Dockland But like That's what my, me and my boys do now It's like yeah. yo let's, Hey what are you doing this week? I haven't seen you guys in ages Let's go play yeah. paddle So it's like So when you play They're not sitting down And yeah. just talking And what we do is like It'll be like six of us Yeah we'll go yeah, one. I get imagine me and you. We get paired together. So I'm, you're stuck with competitive Ravo, and time. I'm gonna be dissing you, screaming at you every time you yeah, stuff yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we take the break together. We joke together. Of course. And then what happens is you have that mad car park conversation. Yeah, yeah. At the co car park, you're there for 15, 20 minutes after yeah, you yeah, play yeah, paddle. Air ready. Or you go get a feed. Yeah, outside. Or you go get a feed. Yeah. So it's not hard to have that conversation. I think that's what it is. People need to do more activities with their friends. Yeah. Or what I, we do is like we go gaming. I play Age of Empires with my boys. Yeah. We go to a gaming lounge. We play Age of Empires. Yeah. And then after we sit outside. Yeah. Play, talk for 10 minutes. That's the new thing. Yeah. That's what I think we need to do. So when you play Paddle and um, Age of Empires, do you ever go like far? Maybe I'm gay? No. Nah. <laughs> do you ever just think There's that? There's a couple moments, yeah. When I do hit the... <laughs> hey, I'm not going to lie. When I play you're Paddle... You're telling me activities, but they don't sound like the best activities, guys. Right, it's the funnest thing, especially playing with us. <laughs> screaming at each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Borderline fights. But it's like... So yeah, I have a good time when I when I do pick up basketball. When I yeah. go with my boys and we hoop, so we do it fortnightly on yeah. Sundays. But right, when we hoop up, having a laugh, you're talking yeah. smack, you're squaring up with some randoms, but in like a, a good competitive way. Yeah. Talking smack to each other. Yeah. But I think it's different with girls. Yeah. Girls actually need to go have lunch together and chat. Yeah. That's that's their really like I realized that. I used to be like do something. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. like, nah, we enjoy this. Like, our, like whenever, for example, a female relative, a female I know, female yeah, I know yeah, goes yeah. for like lunch and stuff, they're like, oh, we're going to go for lunch with my girls. Yeah. Hang out and just talk, chill. Or do like a cooking class up. together or something. Just do a cooking class. <laughs> just, just, just a dishwashing class, something like that. <laughs> but like, just, they, they want to go hang out and talk. Yeah, it's yeah, different. Yeah. Guys don't really want to sit down and just talk. Yeah. We want, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why a lot of the boys are tired. Yo, next time you want to see a boy, I'll go, you'd be like, Hey, cuz we're gonna go play paddle or we're gonna go play basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get that 20 it's minutes a lot conversation. How you been? What have you been up to? Ah, busy with work, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then they'll be like, yo, I kind of like this. And then you'll find your friend coming every week. Yeah. And then you see them. And much then you have more real conversations. And then you end up having real, more real conversations, yeah. grabbing a feed, kicking back. Yeah. That's why people aren't doing too much, yeah. I reckon.
Yo, speaking of activities, summer is around the corner, cuz. Yeah. So Taz, activities been, might be coming up. Has I've been under construction for a while, and I swear to God, I feel I ate like a pig right now. Yeah, I yeah. did eat like a pig before. Bro, when this I picked episode, this guy up just before this episode, I pick, I drive to the train station. I think he's at the train station. Yeah. I'm there. I'm waiting. I'm looking around. Yeah. This guy's not here. I call him up. Yeah. Goes Kazuma KFC. I go to KFC. Yeah. And I see him sitting there munching out. Yeah. Zing a stack. Arguing with a Somali guy that's working there. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah. I smack. I mind you, before I caught the train, I bought an egg and mayo sandwich. Yeah, yeah. From Seven Eleven. Snickers. Bottle of water. And then got there, got bored, got a zinger stacker and nuggets. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm a fat piece of crap. And but besides that, I'm ready for summer. I'm in shape. Yeah. I feel good. Yeah. I look good. And the boldness is the boldness is Kaz, you're live on talking trophies. What let you say a word, you're on speaker, Kaz. What I'm recording the podcast, you're on live. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> you see this? Look at this, Ken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we don't even talk to each other properly, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, but is that who you sent the video to before? Nah, I'm someone else. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's it. Like, I'm, I feel good, man. I yeah. feel good. And I'm not going to lie, two years of being shaved, bald head, I just love it. You're feeling it now. I swear to God, I feel it again, bro. Yeah, and yeah. I think I'm just, yeah, I'm just feeling it, man. But yeah, summer, yeah. I'm actually keen for summer. Couple of those hot days, yeah. Walking as well before I on the way here, yeah. Seeing that sunset and it's right. warm, it's nice. You know what I love and what I miss those nice late nights at the beach. You go to the beach with yeah. some friends. It's like that nice weather, so you can just hang out there, kick right. back, fish and chips. Say kill the days when we wouldn't say kill. Kilda. I haven't done it in ages. I yeah, haven't yeah, done it since. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I barely go to the beach, but <laughs> no like way. I swear that the beach is there with <laughs> me, man. I love, I love the, the beach. The beach is therapy, bro. I swear to God, you could just sit there, bro, in any emotion. Yeah. Happy, sad, anxious, yeah, angry, yeah, yeah, yeah. over the moon. You go to the beach, Yeah. it just makes you happier, yeah, yeah. calms you down. Yeah. Bro, you need, we need to step to the beach more. But no stabbings this year at the beach. No. No crimes. We're done with it. No drinking at the beach. No doing anything at the beach. Just like go to the beach, jump in the water. If you know how to swim, swim. If you don't know how to swim, play some like- Play volleyball, hang yeah. out with your friends, get, get a tan. Hey, volleyball is underrated, cuz. It's so fun. It's such right. a fun sport. It's such a fa- fun family sport. Just do that, please. This summer, just stay, like, no for violence at the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Like, if you're on stuff, if you're on some heavy stuff, stay home. If you're on some heavy stuff- Book a telly and just stay in the telly. Or just go to- Just go, go just to- watch your, your music videos go and to, shut up. Yeah, go to your <laughs> local gym. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go to your local gym, just punch the punch bag a couple times. Right. Or go to a real MMA place- and tell the guy, hey, I want to spar. I got a bit of anger in me. Yeah. And get some heavy, heavy weight yeah. champion to like drop you, fight you, yeah, spar yeah, with yeah. you, and you let it out. Yeah. Like find another outlet. Yeah. But hey, yeah. we there's some stuff happening in Melbourne yeah. this year. We've got Drake coming down. Yeah. Drake hasn't came down, I think, since 2017, 2016. I've never seen Drake live. There's one that I'm Jane up for. What is it? Metallica's coming. Oh, are you going? <laughs> I'm trying to go, but I don't I don't think I can go. Why? It's too expensive, bro. How much? It's sold out. And for the very b- far back seats, they're trying to resell right now for about 400 bucks, bro. Where's it at? MCG? Yeah. No, no. Um, Marvel. Marvel. $400? 400 Because it's probably going to be one of their last tours. So I think everyone's like, they're trying to bro, resell I'm it. I'm that big. Like I hear like co-workers and stuff speak about them. Bro, they're like one of the biggest bands of all time. Oh, no way. Easily one of what, the biggest give bands. Give me the best song. Sing me the famous song, most famous song. Into salmon, but you have to give me the guitar. Okay, just say it. Dun, dun. <laughs> don't play it. Don't play it. I want to hear you sing it. I'm not gonna Come sing on, it, Kaz. Like, tell me the lines, the lyrics, the lines. Um, <sighs> Kaz, I'm not gonna it, Kaz. <laughs> what, what, what are they called? Metallica. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can do like Enter Sandman. Metallica. You're gonna have to. Uh, nah, it's alright. Into Sandman? Yeah. Kaz, are you black? <laughs> Kaz. Hey, but you know what song I've been listening this, to? This in the gym? Yeah. These and Davies, I'm telling you. Yeah. Metallica in the gym? Yeah. It's different. Yeah, after that, chuck a bit of holy water on yourself because you're possessed. Straight up. Yeah. 
You get to chuck on some Maverick City worship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need and to sit you, down and spend some time with the Lord. Yeah, you need to be a Quran. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, Metallica's that's that's that'll be sick. Listen, Doctor Uma jumped on here, so like no one is beyond celebrity to jump on talking trophies. Yeah, yeah, because if Driz is not sitting here, I'm Team Kendrick. But if he sits here, I'm, I'm Team, team Drake. Drake. That's how it is, guys. Yeah, yeah. Even shits and gigs are coming to Melbourne. Yeah, I saw. You can they, uh, let them jump on. They're going to jump on. Nelka in Melbourne right now. Who? Nelk. Nelk. Where are they? No, actually, no, they're not in Melbourne. They're in, um, I think, Brisbane or Gold yeah. Coast. They, have they done Melbourne yet? No, not yet. Speed's coming to Melbourne. Speed's already did. Uh, he did Auckland, didn't he? He's already done. No. Nah, so now he's in Brisbane. Right now he's in Gold Coast. Okay. And then after Gold Coast, he's coming to Melbourne. Bro, I was watching the Kaiser and that live, bro. That, that rocked me this whole week. Bro, that, that was the funniest how thing. How funny is it, cuz? And you know what's crazy? Was, uh, Kevin Hart and uh, Drew nah, on hey, today. I got it. Bro, this guy is next level at just promoting himself and mm. what he's doing. Every day, it's a movie for this guy, bro. Different celebrities, different people. And you know what it is? I love about it. It's the most randomest people. Yeah, together? Bro, you got the guy that does the eating competitions. Yeah. The most randomest people. What about the guy that just jugged like a leader of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like bro, what's his name? Um, oh, bro. I forgot. I don't know. But he was hilarious. Bro. But even like I saw Siza and Lizzo on. Yeah. Bro, firstly, shout out Lizzo. She dropped a bit of weight. Yeah. She looks good. And she's so funny, bro. Yeah. I was like, bro, this girl was killing me the whole life, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Siza was acting shy and like... You know how she's she is, yeah. Cute girl shyness, yeah, all of that yeah. stuff. Like, I reckon she should have just been way more chill. Yeah. But Lizzo was just vibing, yeah, bro. Yeah. And I just kept, you know what happened? Bro, I got carried away when Lizzo was there and I just, I started putting W's in the chat. No way. I started W, 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 W's in the chat. Kaz, you became a bot, bro. Kaz, I became a bot, Kaz. Nah, you know who kills me, never fails to kill me? Drewski. Yeah. Drewski. Have you, have you watched his talent show? Yeah. Bro, the talent Could show. Could have been records. Did you see the one, you watch the one he did in Nigeria? Nah. Bro, it's the funniest no way. thing, bro. Because a lot of them, I think because he thought he's American, they, they'll put on the American persona, cuz. Yeah. And because, you know, some of the Nigerians, they're desperate. Mm. Bro, the guy just looks at the guy. Man, get this guy out of here. And then? Bro, the two big guys grab him, drag him out. What did he do? No, please, sir. Please, please, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> bro, it's too good, bro. Guys, we gotta do a live. We gotta do something live, man. Like that. We gotta do a live stream, bro. So, I don't know what we gotta do. Something live, yeah. Because I don't know, bro. No, no, not a live show, like a live stream or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And secondly, I want to say, by the way, yo, I, I met a couple of Davies at the 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 live show we did, but yeah. that was like our first mini entrance to the live show. Cause I was, did you get like, did you feel any anxiety, like anxiousness or shyness before getting on stage? No, nah, no, nah, I'm used to talking to people like, like that platforms. Yeah. Okay, sweet. I felt nothing. Yeah, yeah. Wait. I was confident. I was up there, my guy, bro. I was just there vibing, bro. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. was not. I was talking. I was having a laugh. I did. You know what, what it is? I did not care because we already conquered the mountain in the room. He did the interview. Nah, not no. In general, like I just realized, yeah. I'm like, yo, what the hell? I was, I was like, maybe it was the Toastmasters because I was able to speak comfortably. True. I was able to banter and as well, like, say things seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, shout out Toastmasters, bro. Yeah, I was yeah. like, yo, if hey, if you guys need to do public speaking, go to Toastmasters. You'll improve your skills. But bro, I was confident. If you brought a girl there, I would have raised her up then and there, nonstop. I was that confident, bro. And I was like. I'm like, yo, I'm proud of myself, man. You got a bit of compliments as well. Yeah, yeah. People are telling me, hey, bro, Raver, man, I didn't know you could speak, man. Yeah. What the hell? You speaking like that in front of people? Bro, this guy gets so gassed when you say stuff like that, that bro. Compliment you me. You got gassed, bro. Compliment me. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. because you know why? Stuff like that, it G's me up to do it again. Of course. So, like, and public speaking is a skill. Yeah, yeah it is. So, like, I got G'd up. I'm like, yo, let me do it again. But yeah. I can't wait for us to have a live show and then I'm going to be buckling. Yeah. Like, Hi, guys. Because you know why? It's going to matter to us a lot more. What do you mean? Like, Doing our own live show, it's yeah. it's gonna matter to us how like how well we do it. Yeah. Now, but the thing is, cause I get into like zones, cause yeah. Like you saw it in the interview, I'll get yeah, I'll yeah. get into a zone, cause yeah, yeah. I'll just lock in. I'll be like, activate this mode. Yeah. And I think it's just like it's just a personality trait. I just so have different like. I can lock in. I can lock in with a room on stage. I I can just go into a zone. Um, a lot different than I am off the camera though, because I'm like I'm always just banter or that, but I can be very like. I can just get all the stuff done, mm. crack a couple of jokes if I have to. I don't know. I, I always find myself chill and it just, I don't know what yeah. it is. I find I'm always just chill. But I hate feeling rushed. If I feel like I have, I'm like tight for time. Yeah. So even opening, I felt like I was so, because 
were already so late. Yeah. Oh, I was like, fuck, I just need to get this over and done with. Like this. Mm. Welcome. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. I just feel like I have this composure, like chillness for some reason. Yeah. I, I am serious. I can get be serious as well. But I don't know. I just have this like little cheeky personality. Yeah. yeah. It is what it is. But hey, we're going we're gonna to do a thing. Dave's and Davies. It's story time. Okay. Story time. You know, looking back. I just realized, bro, like, it's that graduating time, bro. Shout out if you're a Dave and Davey and you're in VC. Shout out you. You just graduated. So, we got any under seven, uh, under 18, uh, Drake under 18 viewers? Deep is there. We got a couple youngins now. We got a couple youngins. Yeah, Shout yeah. out youngins, man. Doing Shout your thing, Shout out bro. them. Congratulations on yeah, graduating. Yeah, yeah. But make me go and reflect. Yeah. I'm like, far. School was a while ago mm. for me. But, man, school was some of the most funniest times. Yeah. Like, I look back on the most cooked memories and I go, far. There's no way. Like, this actually happened. Like, one of them I can think of straight away. Bro, there was one time where our whole class would not budge. We would not snitch. So I think it was maths class or English. The teacher's up there teaching. Bro, the second he turns around to the whiteboard, one of the bogans at the back, whoo, throws a rock, bro, at the whiteboard right next <laughs> to where the teacher's head is. But no one bucked. Like, no one wanted to say anything. Bro, they put us in suspension, in, in school suspension, not even at home. The whole week and every day, everyone's getting interviewed. Every day, your parents, they're getting interviewed, but no one would buckle until the person actually came out and spoke. But made me think, bro, when you get when you get all the boys together, bro, you do some dumb stuff when you're in high school. Yeah. Like, we used to make teachers cry. Yeah, yeah, it's standard. I don't know why. Like, why do we find pleasure in it? I, I felt bad to be honest. I never used to get a, like I I would laugh, but like and then I used to feel bad. Yeah. And then I used to say oh to the teacher, I'm like, oh sorry, are you okay? Oh no way. Yeah, bro. I've always had the sympathy, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. I always I, I don't know, you know what it is? I f I feel bad for people. Yeah. Like, I can feel bad. I remember because yeah. we had a Japanese teacher called uh, Miss Kamimura. Yeah, yeah. And bro, they used to get into it. Dirt. And she was something probably, it, she was a Japanese about teacher. fresh Asian teachers yeah, yeah. in high school. And she was like fob Asian, like yeah, Japanese. Yeah, yeah. She's such a nice lady, by the yeah, way. Yeah, such yeah. a nice lady. But I remember people used to give it to her. She'd be like, I will not tolerate this. I don't know how to chuck on a Japanese accent. Yeah, 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 yeah. The only thing I know how to say in Japanese properly, like with the accent, is hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides that, I can't really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um actually, bro, one what's time. Jap what's but the sometimes Japanese, what's the Japanese accent? What does oh, she Oh no, my you are. What does she worry for this? Ichi ni san shi go ruku nana hachi des. Bold head, bold head die, bold head on a bold head on a my you I don't know what that means, yeah. but um. Yeah, we used to make her cry too, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And I felt so bad, bro. She was such a nice lady, and she used to have she used to have little chubby cheeks, guys. And whenever she used to like. Cry, she, um, laugh, cry, she'd be like, yeah. and I'll be like, damn, I feel so you bad. You realize if you have an accent or or a really bad name, yeah, you're doing you probably high. shouldn't teach. Yeah. Like we had a few names. One of the teachers' names, um, Mr. Bullis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I already I'm already having a field day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're having a field yeah, yeah, yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, the, no, nah, this one was cooked, bro. So there was a teacher. Her name was Miss Gaylard. <laughs> and she was actually gay. And she was fat. And her name was Gaylord. What did they call her? Gaylord? <laughs> <laughs> no way. Bro, a guy got suspended for saying that. Why? Because she pulled, told him off and he's like, oh, okay, Gaylord. <laughs> bro, a guy got suspended, bro. What's her superpower? Zestiness? <laughs> God, that's bad. This guy's sick in the head, bro. She's gay. You said yeah, 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 nothing yeah. wrong for it. It's a superpower. Yeah. But I remember it used to be bad back then, though, bro. What? Like, even you just don't take anything seriously. Yeah. Because my school had a lot of Somali kids and yeah. also few islanders mm. so my year level you know did your school when you were in school did they ever give you the the transgender talk nah actually no there was one video. they dabbled in it a little bit oh no way yeah just a little bit they they just talked into it only because we had one girl change her name from caitlin to kane to kane to kane did she become Kane from wwe and start hitting yes. people with school in the choke slams no nah, just coming into the school bro, kids Kids were ruthless, cuz, cuz I remember we'd always be like, just play Kane the same theme song. <laughs> nah, <'cause, laughs> she just walks into the class. You just play I Kane love how you pre guess the bullying, but you're wrong on this one. Bro, no, what happens was it whenever you talk, you just be like, okay, Caitlin. Oh, you say her old name. Bro, you just say her old name. Uh, bro, you just don't take anything that serious. Is so, that is Homoph very no, transphobic. transphobic. Because that was so backwards, cuz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
But because it was in a different time, it's a different era before him. it was. We forgive him because <laughs> it was a different time, Cass. Yeah. 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 But I remember one time my school did something similar. Yeah. So they played us this video. It was in psychology class. So this yeah. is towards the end, uh, towards the end of like high school. So this yeah. would be like 2013, 14. Yeah, yeah. I'm old. I'm old, Dave's a I'm old. <laughs> but they played uh, a video about where everyone in the world is gay. No way. Yeah, and if and the, the main character, she falls in love with a guy, and they call people that are straight breeders. No way. Yeah, yeah. It's like a video. It's like breeder, and she was getting bullied, and she got like super depressed, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think like suicide or whatever, and then yeah, ended up taking herself out in the, in the thing. Wow, right. Because she was a breeder, and I remember me and my boy in the back. Mind you, this guy's <laughs> this guy's Christian. Yeah, He's yeah. just like, I'm like, bro. I was looking at it, I remember saying, like, what's the point of this? Yeah. And all the white girls in the class are like crying, no getting way. into it. I'm like, oh my God, bro. I was like, what the hell? This yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, this isn't the best way to promote this nah, stuff. Nah. But like, I remember that was, that's we pro- that was the start of like our probably yeah, introduction yeah. to like LGBTQ. Yeah. Yeah. Apart but I was just like, bro, that's, a, that's the, probably the worst. Looking back, I'm like, that's the worst way to- Yeah, introduce it. Introduce it. Like it's, it shouldn't be that extreme. Yeah. Yeah. Like I should have just made a video of like, I don't know, who's like the who's who's a really good gay athlete. The fact that we can't even name one person. gay athletes, <laughs> mate, you, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. What's that um runner from America? Who that girl? She's a sprinter. Oh, you talking about female? Oh, yeah, you? yeah, the sprinter. What's her name? I um, know you're talking. I, I know her, Rich, uh, Richardson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, like they should have just thought, like, if you want to do that, they should have just sent. Just make him look just, OP. Yeah, just make him look OP. <laughs> yeah. Make it like a highlight reel of them. Yeah, and then yeah. in the end, just chuck the flag there or something, yeah, you know? Yeah. Like do something that will like get a 15 year old yeah, and be like, yeah, oh, cool, yeah. that's cool. You know what I mean? Or something like that. you school, you just don't care. You don't care. Nah. You don't actually care, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know, bro. Like. Like I find I, it hilarious. I used to be ruthless to teachers. Yeah. Like, one teacher, she was just came in moody, bro. Always moody. One day I was like, miss, like, did you stop sleeping with your husband? <laughs> what Kick, you? Get out. What you get out. You? Bro, it's year 11. Oh, damn, bro. Yeah, year 11. That's rude, bro. It is, bro. It is. That's the thing I've, I've changed. Huh? I've changed. Yeah, because that's a bit rude, because, like, the, f- the fact that you're saying stuff like that, you sh- no one should be that witty at that age. Yeah, you know nah, what I mean? you know what it was, but bro, Reservoir was like that. Yeah. Like, you just, you have to always be on your feet. Mm. It's ready to give it back. Yeah. I had a teacher tell me I was, go- I'm, I'm going to hell. No way. Yeah, dead set. You're joining me too, ho. <laughs> Stop, <laughs> you're coming with me. Oh you're coming down with me. <laughs> bro, I was just laughing at the back. And she just goes, Damien, I swear you're going to hell. Yeah. And I was like, what? Was it Gaylord? No, no, it wasn't gay. <laughs> <laughs> it was no, a, miss, you're going out. Yeah, you're going out. <laughs> no, I'm checking not. But uh, <laughs> uh, let's talk. Let's talk about. Let's talk about um hustle culture, bro. Because yeah. ha- lately, because the hustle culture trend has been massive in the world, man. You just yeah. go and think, bro. My motivation right now, like I've been on motivational TikTok for a while. Yeah. My FYP, every stuck like, fifteenth reel. I yeah, mean, 15 yeah. TikTok is David Goggins telling me how pathetic I am yeah. and I shouldn't be running on dopamine and I should love the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've been... Nah, you know I've what? Hustle numbers. culture gets it done. But is it good for the mental health? That's what I want to ask. It is if you do it right. I think you need a bit of hustle, but you need rest. Like, you can't just keep hustling without rest. So for, for overall, but like, for example, gym. Because this whole mentality, the new thing is like, you're going to your gym, you work... You have a side hustle yeah. and you're trading as well. It's not realistic, bro. I don't think it... I think, you know what? It's realistic if you're willing to give up a lot of other things to pursue that. What For something mean? like that, you can't really squeeze in family. You can't squeeze in personal time, just wanting to do leisure things, things that you enjoy. Things mm. You can't really go on a holiday because you're spending money. The thing that you're trying to work hard, save up. And when you're on a holiday, bro, you don't want to be like, yo, I'm going to stay on my fitness grind. Like... You want to relax, bro. You want to enjoy yeah. it. You want to eat. I don't think it's realistic, bro. But look, I think but it, I understand it and I respect it. Like to those for that example, do it. let's just say like now this is a big trend: the winter arc. Because in the northern hemisphere, they're getting into winter. Have you heard of winter arc? 
No, no, tell me. You're not a motivational TikTok. You're pathetic in your week. That's why. Yeah, you yeah, should yeah, know yeah, what yeah, Wintark yeah. is. That's Wintark is like lock-in. Okay. Lock-in. Over the winter. In the winter. Yeah, because okay. the nights are longer. Days are shorter. Okay. It's lock-in, train, sleep early, uh, grind. Yeah. Do your side hustle, sleep early, yeah. wake up early, repeat. Yeah. Just all winter. No socials, nothing. Like, just on your grind, yeah? And it's massive. How many people do you know that actually do this? What? This winter grind. No, no, it's, it's the Northern Hemisphere. Oh, okay. I'm seeing the TikToks. It's like the FYP. And they use David Goggins as like the face of it. And David Goggins like, there's no winter arc. There's no winter arc. <laughs> yeah. I do this all year round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I live this. Yeah, this is not winter arc. It's not a face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But like, everyone's into it. Like now, this hustle culture. You know what I mean? Especially even like I'm seeing with trading and stuff. The crypto market going up yeah, and down. Yeah, yeah. People are trading and investing. And it's massive now. Like this yeah. hustle culture is like, get rich, get generational wealth. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, bro, you even go on like, thing, you, you hear about meme coins. If you hear yeah, about, yeah, do you know yeah, what meme yeah, coins yeah. are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your homeboy Hemi spoke yeah, about yeah, it. it's all what? about it, bro. So meme coins is like, that's where the money is right now. Everyone's pumping and dumping and they're doing all of this stuff. So it's like, everyone's on this whole trade grind, money grind, hustle yeah, yeah. grind. You're constantly being elevated. And I'm like, are you just constantly on edge that you're not good enough and you need to get better? Yeah. Is there ever a moment where it's like, yo, I'm doing all right? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Where does this hustle culture like, yo, because I know girls are starting to experience it too. A lot of girls I know are st have stopped, have left the traditional motivation and they're yeah. going into that dark. Oh, yeah, yeah. Without a lot of girls I know are grinding on like that, yeah, yeah. that motivation. It's like, the, I don't know, the alpha motivation. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, like, you know, like, like, I'll see a girl like speak, like watch Andrew Tate videos now and not like the yeah. videos of like how to treat them, whatever. It's like, yo, are you grinding? Like, for yeah. example, the, that, sp that speech of, I was talking about, um, there's a version of you, the Andrew Tate one. Yeah. But he's speaking about like, there's a version of you that is great. There's a version of you that this is. Girls are like re reposting these videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're reposting top are you G? For it? Are you for it? What? This whole thing. I, I love it for girls. I like seeing girls, even guys, whatever. But do, I, do you I feel like it makes, I feel like it makes people low key a bit more insecure. What do you mean? Because you're constantly thinking that you're not good enough. No, no, like I, I, and I'm not saying be content with your flaws. I'm not saying that. I'm saying when you're when you're so fixated that you're in a in a negative, like you're always in a deficit. Like you have to keep grinding to get up to this level because you're not there. I don't know. It can be pretty toxic. Nah, but personally, I, I, I don't think so, man. Because a lot of a lot of the girls, like for example, the, like three girls have reposted this. Yeah, I've mm. seen them on my socials. They've reposted this. Yeah, the the top G stuff. I'm like. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're like on a different grind, bro. Like yeah. they're trying to like get fit. They're trying yeah. to work hard. Okay. They look good. They're yeah. motivated. They're focused. Working and they're working hard as well. Like for example, I s I'll see their on their stories and stuff. They actually don't work work yeah, as well. Yeah, okay. They don't mind you. They're not posting this. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, just yeah. seeing You're like seeing it from afar. The likes. I'm seeing what they're liking. Like I'll see posts that are I'm looking on my like you know the explore page for you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, this person liked it. Oh, okay. This is and you're surprised. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. okay, nice, whatever. It's like cool. Yeah. And I'm like, but I'm like, I correlate it and I'm like, yo, this person's doing well. Maybe this yeah, motivation yeah. is helping them. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. you know what I mean? Like, for example, have you seen the video where it's like what motivates girls and what motivates guys? No, I haven't seen it. Haven't seen those videos? Like how girls are in the gym and how guys are in the gym, the video. Oh. So the guys in the gym are like, yo, weak, you're pathetic, grind. You got you got a generation waiting for you. The girl's like, You're so great. You're you got this hard. girl. You got this girl, <laughs> yeah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm starting to think like Okay, maybe these girls don't want this anymore. Yeah. They want that push myself, accountability, yeah. a tougher love. Hustle. Hustle love. And it's, it's, it's a bit tough, man. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm. It's a bit tough being called the pathetic whip. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is not you. You're better than this. Yeah. You don't need no... It's a bit tough, man, at the start. Mm. And some people be like, oh, like for example, if I showed it to one of our cousins, if Ryan is show this video, she'd be like, oh my God, this is disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But like, if I showed it to maybe another cousin, I don't know who I'm trying to think of in our family. Maybe Rizaz. Rizaz won't watch it a little bit. Yeah. You know what? We're at the mo we're like what? We're an hour into the pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our family's not listening not at this listening. point. No like way. it's just Deves and Davies right now. Yeah, yeah. So like, <laughs> yeah. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way they're listening. But like, there, yeah. those girl, like, like I can see like this kind of girl listening to it. Yeah. And doing much better. And I, I personally think it's good. Yeah. I think that hustle, intense culture, even for girls, is good mm. for a certain degree once yeah. you see your results once you feel good yeah you maybe lay off it a little bit yeah lay off it a little bit it's hard. unless you um 
unless you force your social circles into these environments, it's not realistic to have like strong community. What do you mean? You like, don't need community for this, man. It's you. Yeah, but that's it's what I'm you saying. But, but you. Bro, I reckon we're designed to be in community. Like we're meant to, always meant to be like we're, we're relational beings. Like we can't just isolate that long. It will, it will break someone eventually. I don't think so, man. Just for winter. Yeah. When everyone's at home. Yeah, yeah. You don't go out much on winter. No, you don't. And, you, and the thing is too, we got to embrace being lonely, man. Yeah. I feel like we're so connected, man. I think, okay, I'll say this with me. Let's just say with me, yeah. I think 2024 was the loneliest year I've had in my life. Mm. But I've been around people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the loneliest. This year was the loneliest year I've ever but would experienced you, I think life. that naturally comes as you age. I think as you age, each year does become lonely. No, no, no. As in, it's like I'm isolating myself from people. Oh, okay. You're intentionally As in, going. like, I'm not going out as much, like, to hang out with friends. I'm chilling a bit more by myself. I'm spending more yeah. time by myself. I start working out by myself. Yeah, yeah. I, get I, that. Okay. I go for walks by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go for runs by myself. Sometimes when I'm at work, yeah, and I'm on break, I'll put my phone, leave my phone at home and go for a walk. Yeah, yeah. It was, my, it was the loneliest year. Yeah. And you know what it is, too? I think this year, I, firstly, I've, and I've... I've done great things, firstly, in the gym. I've lifted numbers I've never lifted before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I probably won't lift. And it's cr it's crazy. Like, even yeah. re remember from the day we trained with the Roman guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've passed all those numbers. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I'm, now, I do, like, I, I, I do 46 on the thing. Yeah. I passed it. Yeah. Because I'm by myself, man. And I'm pushing myself. Yeah. I've, I've not really speaking to girls, bro. Yeah, yeah. Every now and then, maybe see if it's potential wifey. Nah, <laughs> see you later. Go yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, I don't need no girl. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just locked, like, locked I'm in. Locked in by myself. And you know what's crazy? I realized I really like myself as a person. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, you know what? I'd be friends with me. Mm. But I had, I had to take that break to realize, am I really a good person? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And after hanging out by myself for quite but a bit. He said it's been your most lonely this year. Do you feel lonely, though? What do you mean? Do you, like, it's been your most isolated year, but do you feel lonely or not? Yeah, to a degree. Yeah. To so it does degree. come at a cost low key. What do you mean? I, I, got, I know I've got family there. Yeah. But I'm saying that loneliness, I push myself, I keep pushing myself back into it to lock in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I got my own room. I'll close the door now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm not closing the door just like, so I can just chill, take it back. It's yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm closing the room so it's like, yeah, so I can focus. Yeah. Go on my laptop, look at things. Read, yeah, and I improve myself as a person. Cause I, for me, it's a bit different. I'm finding as I get older, it can feel lonely because I'm struggling to relate to the people I used to and people that are around me as much. I'm experiencing that as well. Cause like, bro, I'll be kicking it with someone, and I'm like, yo, there's no way you're still stuck in this mindset, or no way you're letting this get to you this much. But mm -hmm. I'm just noticing things that are changing, which is how I think, how I operate, mm -hmm. even the things, some of the some of the loads I carry. Like at work and stuff, some of the conversations I have to have with people, I'm going, man, I'm actually struggling to relate with those around me. And it's good. It's actually, I like it in a sense because sometimes the way they banter, it takes me back to childhood. So I, it gets my mind off things. Mm. But there's times where like I'm trying to have like an articulated conversation and I'm like, far like. Do you think articulated conversations are forced? I generally think people aren't yeah. as smart. I learned this from work here. There's one guy that's really high up. Yeah, yeah. Always banters. Yeah, yeah. Always banters. Like, always banters. But when it's time to lock in, locked in. Yeah. And it's like you... I had a one-on-one -on -one meeting with him one time. Locked in. Yeah, Proper yeah. Proper conversation. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like... Bro, you don't actually have to be that serious. You don't always have to think. But like, for example, when you get in a meeting, maybe be serious and stuff. But I feel like everyone's... It, there's a real facade we have. Yeah, yeah Where yeah. people can't be themselves. Yeah, it's You true. know what I mean? It's true. No one can be themselves. I people are trying to be someone. People are trying to act like something. And, yeah. and then it, it's just being tense, man. I don't know. I personally think, man, like, yo, joke around. When I see people, I always joke around with them. You see me when I see people, yeah, hey, what's yeah, up? Of course, hey, of course. Yeah, yeah. If you want to have a serious conversation, yeah, yo, I'll, I'll lock it. in. I'll have a serious conversation. Yeah, yeah. But, bro, don't yeah. worry <laughs> about a thing. Because every little da, 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 thing da, 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 is going to be all right. But that's how it is. I yeah, think yeah, everyone's yeah. so serious. And I see, for example, the older generation, my dad and stuff, their generation and stuff, they all try to be serious and stuff. Of course, yeah. They're yeah. not It's like, you don't have to pretend to be articulate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, have yeah. an articulate conversation with you. We can yeah. if you want. But like, why don't we just Kick know, back. chill, be informed, yeah, 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 have yeah. a laugh. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And if things are serious, yeah, have a serious conversation. Of course. Yeah, yeah. But regarding the loneliness, yeah, man, I think... I needed that to be honest. I needed yeah, to yeah. be 
Lonely because like like now I can spend a week by myself. I don't need no one. Yeah, probably. I can spend two weeks by myself. I don't need no one. Yeah, and I'm comfortable with that. But you know, it helped me. It makes me appreciate mm. being around people. It makes me appreciate being around family. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I tend to enjoy family more. Yeah, 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 I tend to enjoy my friends more now. Yeah, because I know I'm like yo, I go, I got myself. Yeah, but like look what I have as well, and I'm grateful for it. And I think yeah, we yeah. don't we, we're not as grateful anymore. True. Hey, you know who I'm gonna shout out right now? Because I know they'll be listening. Shout out, Mash. He's in the Grampians, mate, for four days by himself. What are you doing on there? On a solo trip in the Grampians. No way. Yeah, what are you doing there? He's just enjoying it, bro. Yeah. He's someone that hangs out by himself a lot as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, like, in a, in, I think he's locked in right now in a good way. Like, I was talking to him. I'm like, bro, this guy's in a good space. Yeah. yeah. Now, what I do with him is every couple of months, I'll just tell him, yo, come down. Yeah, come record just with come us. Just come record with us. Not to even talk. Like, Mash, even if you have an opinion or not, yeah, just yeah, having yeah, you here, yeah, kicking yeah, back yeah. with us, laughing, it's a vibe. seeing how you've been, whatever. That's what is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And um, I personally, Kaz, I've, I think life is good. Yeah, yeah. Life is good right now. We got a bit philosophical. <laughs> now let's ruin it and talk about something really immature. <laughs> let's talk about what, what, about what I don't know. What else we got? I think the last one was a mature conversation. So oh. let's run a, do a jump was it meant it. to be? What is it the last financial one? Liter- thing financial literacy. Financial literacy? Yeah. Bro, I got a cat flight to catch in. Six hours, five hours. Well, I think we've been going for a while now. Yeah. We've been going forever now. Deves and Davies and the new Deves and Davies, or the 10 people that subscribed after the episode. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Hope, yeah. hope you guys enjoyed this. I guess. Bro, well, you know, we <laughs> come on, man. You know who we are. We're the top podcast in Melbourne. But um, shout out everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Um, shout out Deves and Davies. Hey, if you're new here and you enjoyed this conversation, you like the banter. Sometimes we get you down in a deep rabbit hole. We get you sucked in. Yeah. You don't know where you're going. You get a bit lost. Yeah. Oh, yeah, shout out soon because you're going to see your boy on Kassar. It's coming up soon. We, was it, will it be out by then? It won't be out, but we're going to be recording this. Yeah, week. yeah. That'd be sick. I'm not going to be here, but no, you won't, that'll yeah. be sick. Check that out. Um, These boys are out of their comfort zone. I want to see how they are. Uh, make sure you hey, don't embarrass us because the Deves and Davies are watching. Oh, be good, bro. Actually, wait. Um, We want to make an Instagram channel. So we on our page for Talking Trophies. But we, we sh- we're struggling to have a name. We need something to involve Deves and Davies so he's can join there. And what yeah, we'll yeah, do yeah. is we'll make posts and type stuff and do polls and stuff. And only members of the, the channel can vote and do all of that. Yeah, yeah, sick. And then that'd be, it's a good way to get engagement. So suss it out. Yeah. We want to start a little, because the Deves and Davies need a safe space to talk <laughs> without these liberals coming in there and saying that is wrong and that is completely yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. And you know what? I can interrupt whoever I want when they jump on talking trophies because this is my bloody platform. But besides that, and he's stay proudly humble. bold. And I'm proudly bold as well. But besides that, stay humble, faith. <laughs>